All right, we're setting up today. Um, looks like I'm by myself today, which is not a problem. This place doesn't usually have a whole bunch of business. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll pick up one day. But um, it actually snowed last night. I can't believe it. It's not snow on the ground right now, but it is what it is. But it is very cold, very cold. So I'm uh, in the process of getting things up and running. I gotta go turn on the generator so it's gonna get loud. I wanted to make this part of the uh, intro before I turn on the generator. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started for the day. Okay, one of the things I've been doing, sorry for the noise, I can't, uh, the generator's on right now, I can't really do anything about that. But one of the things I've been doing is experimenting with my cook times with the fryer. So what I did previously was I filled the fryer grease up to the minimum mark and was cooking uh, at 350. I've turned it up to 375 this time and I filled it up half, a little bit past the minimum mark so I actually get the, the uh, items in deeper. And by doing that, what I just noticed is that my fries cooked a lot faster. It was almost two and a half minutes and the fries were golden brown already, which is very good. Uh, then I had the chicken. The chicken is not raw, but it's somewhat raw. It needs to be cooked thoroughly for seven minutes or so. So I cooked it for those seven minutes and in that time, the golden brown color that I got was actually really good. What I'm seeing is, number one, I gotta have that thing filled up with more grease. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like at the edge right now. I actually had it lower than that, which still left me with a good amount of, of dip, but now three quarters of the basket is actually under grease right now, which means I can put more fries in there, so that's a good thing. Uh, I, it probably was maybe half the basket before when I put it in. So I'm checking that out. So that's, that's, a, that's a very critical thing when it comes to the speed of my cook times and getting customers out. So I just did three orders. Uh, all three of them had fries. It was two hamburgers and one chicken nugget. And the time that it took to do that seemed extremely fast, but everything was cooked thoroughly. And I actually let the chicken nuggets sit in longer than I normally do and got them even more golden brown. So that's actually a good thing. I'm, I'm not complaining about that at all. The last time I worked in a fast food restaurant was in excess of 20 years ago. So I'm still on a, an extreme learning curve and I'm, I, I'm glad I get to learn this while I'm kind of in the slow phase of things and before I get a lot of customers. But I've had enough customers, so I'm learning as I go, but I don't want to experiment with people. So I'm trying to get down 100% my cook times. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So I, I really like things to be tight, especially if I'm going to embark on such a task of creating a business and delivering a product. I want every single person to be satisfied with their product. That's like very important to me. With me getting my cook times down, number one, I want people to get food that's fully cooked and delicious. So I, I do buy slightly higher quality products. I don't like getting the bottom of the barrel stuff. I actually just upgraded my fries. I was getting a, the cheapest fry, which they're not that cheap, but there's the, the cheapest one on the shelf but I've just upgraded to a one that's $3 more. And I can tell the difference already in the way the fries cook, the way they look, uh, and the crispness of them. So uh, I actually enjoy them a little bit more. Not that I didn't enjoy the first set of fries, I just enjoy these a little bit more. I like to deliver a high quality product and on time. I don't want people waiting 15 minutes uh, when you got a line of five, six people that gets very frustrating, especially when you think about it. People are at lunch, so they wanna get their food so they can go sit down and actually enjoy their lunch, hop on the phone, maybe watch a little office or something like that. You know, uh, I want people to be able to get their food, it's cooked correct, um, it tastes delicious, they, they have enough food, and boom, you know, they're, they're coming back every time I come through. That's, that's the goal, so we just gotta, you know, keep working at it keep perfecting the process and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride what I'm gonna have to do is put a bucket down below or something because I keep dropping fries down here so when I'm taking the fries out the strainer and putting them all over here I always drop one or two fries down in this area and it ends up being a lot um, you seen the pile from the video before but I also see a liquid that I got to get up down there I gotta that's that oil that I see spilling but um, 
Yes, I, I gotta do something about the fries that keep dropping in between here. I might just put a bucket on the ground, a long bucket on the ground, something that just catches the fries. Uh, just stops making a mess, basically. There are some things that uh, I think about on a regular basis. One being uh, the trajectory of this channel and what I wanna do going forward with it, the content I wanna present to the world. Uh, number two, I really wanna show uh, the ins and outs of starting <laughs> manufacturing, starting and maintaining uh, a business on, you know, the, and there's different levels of success in my book. But I wanna show the transparency on that. Uh, and I just wanna, with this channel, I wanna uh, showcase not only my journey, but other people's journey as well. Because, you know, I don't have all of the, I don't have all the knowledge and I actually have a couple of people that I use as mentors to, uh, that are in the same field as me or that I watch that do the same thing as me or uh, have similar ideas as me that I use to uh, further my, my own agenda. And I like to be able to pass that on. So I think over the course of the next year, my goal is to showcase not only what it takes for me to run this business, but also others that are on a similar path of either starting or maintaining their business. Uh, and, and you know, it doesn't matter the level. Some people are, you know, have been doing this for a decade already. But that right there is a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience that somebody else who might be in that similar field could actually use. So my goal with this channel is to uh, bring that to light, like so many other channels do, but I'm just gonna bring it to light my way. Um, and on top of that, you know, I don't like to tell people, you know, you can go out and be what you want and, you know, conquer the world, and then I'm not trying to do the same thing. Not that the money or conquering the world is the most important thing, but, you know, people do want success. And there's definitely ways to get it if you're willing to work hard for it. There's definitely ways to get it. That's what I tell my children all the time. There's definitely ways to be successful out here, even in the grimmest of times. You just gotta be able and willing to be the hardest worker in the room. Um, and you know, this lunch truck thing, this this is not uh, an easy easy gig. This is, a, this is a daily grind and it's a hard daily grind. And I knew that when I decided to build this trailer and get into it, I knew that. So here I am now and what I already knew is coming to life. It is a daily grind, it's a hard grind. Uh, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of money that you're gonna lose in it um, like for instance I probably won't turn a profit till maybe the end of the summer uh, an actual profit uh, I'm in the hole thousands and thousands of dollars so it's gonna take thousands of thousands of dollars to, to climb up to actually say hey I made some money so let's say I, I even let's say uh, I have a good week I make three thousand dollars in a week that just goes to the negative. That, that uh, starts to pull me out the hole. That doesn't mean I got you know three grand to spend and go play with, no. There's a, a whole back end uh, of things that need to be paid for to make sure this truck stays run, this trailer stays running, and even the truck. So that's just some of the things, the ins and outs that I wanna showcase on this channel uh, so people don't get so uh, disillusioned with success and that it's gonna come easy and all you got to do is, you know, have the money to start it as if there's no back end to the hard work that you're going to have to put in later, which there is. There's an there's a, a, a upside and a downside to everything. And to me, anyway, the upsides always outweigh the downsides if I choose to take that path to get in it. So this is just a, a, another thing this channel does. It's a, a chronological time frame of the things that I've done and my children can go back and look on it and even grandchildren can go back and look on it and say hey if I work hard like he did and anybody can see this if I work hard like he did I can achieve the successes that I want so that's very important to me that's what the, uh, this channel is going to end up being about I got some great ideas for this channel and I can't wait to put them out I just got to take it one step at a time so I don't overload myself with so many things. This is already a task in itself. I built it, that was a task. Uh, operating it, uh, taxes, 
uh, food prep, cooking, uh, you know, everything. It's a task, even the truck. I just did all that work on the truck. You know, that's that wasn't just for the fun of it. That's because I need that truck to stay on the road. I needed to stay on the road. I needed to stay in operation because if that goes in, out of operation, then I'm looking at a different problem. I don't want that problem. So therefore, you know, I, I put that work in. That's all it takes is a little work. Okay, you got the uh, French fries cooking. And this uh, particular individual ordered some chicken wings. Okay, so you see how much deeper they are? That's what I was talking about. Uh, the chicken is so much deeper, so it actually um, cooks them a lot better because they're deeper inside the grease. And here's what the order looks like. Let me see if I can focus on it. There we go. So it says that he has barbecue wings, five wings. This is a combo. It says combo on it. So once the order finishes, all I got to do is hit the top of the order and it goes away. So it'll keep order, uh, adding on. I think it's two rows. I haven't got to two rows yet, but see how much faster they cook? Look, they're already getting golden brown. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I, I was messing up by not putting enough grease in this thing. I can see that. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that cooks a lot faster with more grease in I'm new to this, so I'm learning. We're gonna, we're gonna get it right though. So I already gave the customer his uh, order and it's still counting down. So this gives you a timer of how uh, long the food, the, the whole order has been prepared, but you can also use this timer as, you can also use it as a cook time for your grease. So when you look at the order, when you look at the order, all you gotta do is press it, it goes away. That's fresh KDS for this particular system. Very simple, uh, $20 a month, uh, works for me. Okay, I just had a little bit of a lunch rush and I'm out here by myself, but it's kind of new to do everything by myself. Since I've started, I've had my brother or my son or my wife with me. Uh, so today was the, is the first day that I'm actually out here dolo. I mean, it's just me. So I got to take the order, prep the order, cook the order, serve the order, you know. Uh, it's good experience though, because certain days, Kind of like at this place i don't have a ton of customers so it's almost like i don't want people to come out here and come sit with me for hours they get so bored you know this is a sacrifice that i know i gotta put in it's it's my dream it's it's of my doing and it's my sacrifice so i don't expect everybody to want to come and sit for two or three hours and get like two customers you know but you know that's the name of the game. That's, that's what I knew what was coming and what I have to deal with. But uh, in my little rush, you know, my little grease issue, I think it's solved. Uh, french fries were cooking very fast. I cooked three servings of french fries and they were done before the burgers. And mind you, the burgers that I get are Angus beef and they are already cooked. They're already cooked in season. So all I'm literally doing is warming them up. But they're a premium hamburger. Uh, they're actually very delicious. They're very delicious burgers. And uh, <laughs> they're so delicious, that's, that's my top seller, actually. I had these other burgers before, and they were somewhat raw. And I put a seasoning on those, but people said they were okay. And they were okay. They were okay. It was like, I'm eating, but it's not the best burger. I got it. So I upgraded to the premium burger. And yeah, they're, they're head... They're uh, miles above the, the first burger that I started with. So in my little rush, french fries are cooking fast. The griddle's already fast. I can turn the griddle up, but I got it fine-tuned. I actually even made marks so I know exactly where to keep the gas. So it's, it's fine-tuned. Everything is going good with the griddle. Um, but yeah, some days when I'm out here and there's not a ton of customers, there's no need to have anybody out here with me. Uh, it actually helps my margins to not have anybody out here with me because of course, you know, I'm paying them. I'm not People's time is valuable. Uh, my time is valuable 
and I can't then look at the next person and say their time is not valuable, come work for me for free. No, I gotta pay somebody. Um, I might not be able to even pay them a whole bunch, but we're only out here three hours. I give them 20, 30, $40, $50, you know, which is a, a huge chunk of what we make out here. But like I said, I see their time as valuable, especially if they're helping me become successful in my endeavors, their time is very valuable. So let me see, time frame wise, it looks like we made about close to a hundred bucks in an hour. So that's not bad. It's not bad at all. If once I get to a point to where people know that I'm coming because I noticed I had several people, probably four or five cars stop now and take pictures of the menu because they see that I'm gonna be here on a regular basis. So when it comes to this lunch trailer grind, you just gotta keep showing up. The first month of you showing up, nobody's gonna come, but the people at the, the company that works right here. But then after that, people are gonna be like, oh, there's a food truck there, I'll go there. Instead of going way down to one of the uh, big chains, which then you gotta wait in line over there, then you gotta drive way over there. I'm right around all these businesses. So, you know, things are gonna look up. I, I have no fear that this will be successful. Um, number one, people eat every day. So, I just need them to see that I'm here and they can come eat with me. And then things will, you know, slowly ramp up from there. I think it's gonna be a good summer. I do. I think it's gonna be a great summer. That's what I'm planning for. I'm planning for a great summer. Uh, I'll let the summer show me different. I'll let reality show me different, but I'm gonna plan and pray for a good summer. And that's all I can do. All right, so I'm at the end of my day and, uh, well, middle of the day. I'm shutting down at two. I, what I'm trying to do is tighten up my times. There's no need to sit at a location for four or five hours waiting for one or person. One or one or person. There's no need to sit and wait for one person. So you actually, I'm actually trying to tighten up my times so people know I'm going to be here in a two hour window. That way, when I come, I get a, a, a rush of people and then we can leave. We don't have to sit around all day. That also gives the possibility to go into another location um, later on in the day, like a second shift, like a dinner run or something. So um, just gonna do a little bit of putting stuff up and cleaning and, and uh, then we'll go ahead and get up out of here. in there is going to be left on top of the string. It actually strings are really good. Uh, that bucket is clean so then I'll be ready to take that grease when I set up tomorrow, dump it right back in there and it's good to go.
so I'm pretty much done for the day. The last thing I got to do is put the generator up. Um, I just got to push it into its little generator house. And after that, uh, we are good for the day. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.